From Apple to Samsung, why an Apple user uses a Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Oh, this gonna be spicy, player. <laughs> now, if you love your Galaxy Note 10, I need you to smash that like button right now. Yes, I'm a hardcore Apple user, but I just love the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, Galaxy Note 10 9, Note 8, and so on. And now, whatever the Note 11, whatever we're coming with. So, it's like every year, sometimes I enjoy the Galaxy Note device more than my iPhone. Actually, truth be told, a lot of the time I do. <laughs> so much so that the Galaxy Note has become my main daily driver in the past, but in today's world, I carry two phones, one iOS, one Android, but the question still remains, why would an Apple user switch to the Galaxy Note device well, I'll answer that now. What up, YouTube? My name is CJ. This is CJ Knows Tech, where I know tech so you don't have to. <laughs> Hit the intro. The number one reason any Apple user would switch to a Galaxy Note is features, features on features on even more features. This is probably the most feature-packed smartphone available, like period. Matter of fact, it is. One thing some people can grow bored of is the stagnant, never-changing iPhone home screen. Hey, Tim Apple, when you gonna set us free, player? It's been the same damn grid since the beginning. It's time for a change. Let's talk. All right, Tim, I'll catch you later, player. <laughs> now, outside of features, there's something else that this bad boy has. It's that super bright and the emphasis on bright, you know, you be blinding the player. It's that super bright AMOLED display, which is quite frankly, the most beautiful, the best display I've probably ever placed my eyes on. Like, seriously. Now, why does that matter? You and I both use smartphones for the majority of our day. If we're not on social media, we're texting, we're sending emails, or even better, watching movies and videos, specifically my videos, right? <laughs> Go ahead and smash that sub button and watch every video. My point is, if we're spending the majority of our time staring and using our smartphones, why not have it be the best display? Also, the screen real estate and lack of a notch is perfect for viewing websites, multitasking, and everything else. It's the closest smartphone display to resemble our flat screen TVs and computer monitors. And why does that matter? Because it's familiar more than anything else out there. You know, notches aren't familiar, neither are pinholes. <laughs> the second reason is freedom. Freedom, freedom, good God almighty freedom. You can do what you want, how you want, when you want. Now that comes at a cost, of course. Be mindful of what you're doing <laughs> and your newfound power. Basically, it's open, open but that means it's not as secure. But Samsung does pack Samsung Knox, you know what I mean? That's their version of top tier security to combat all of the openness of Android. So when I say freedom, I'm speaking to the fact that you can customize your device up and down, left and right, no limitation, and it's sweet. I can put my icons wherever I choose. I could put widgets on my home screen. I love widgets because I get so much info from just looking at my home screen without having to open up multiple apps. That's a plus that is clutch and that is convenience at its best. So I won't run down the extensive list of many, I mean many things that you can do because that's like six videos itself. And if you haven't seen my top tips and tricks, Galaxy Note 10 Plus video, you know, some of those are hidden secret tricks, click on the video link in the end screen at the end of this video and go check it out for some of them dope hidden features and stuff. Now, another reason you're gonna love the Samsung life over the iPhone life is multitasking. You heard me, multitasking, this is big. I still don't understand why we don't have this on iPhones. Hey, Tim Apple, what up, player? Yeah, it's me again. What's up with multitasking? Jeez. Now, who wouldn't want to be able to scroll through Twitter while watching YouTube? Just don't do it while you're watching my video, all right? <laughs> Basically, being able to check emails while doing anything else that you choose is a major convenience. Even if I won't necessarily use it all the time, the fact is it's beautiful to have it when I need it as opposed to not having it when I need it. And Apple, that BS you trying to sell us is multitasking? Nah, it ain't it, player. Another big sell on Android is files. Being able to use external storage in addition to just being able to drag and drop files such as music 
and having casual access to those files. Big plus in my eyes and in the masses. That's why Android is over the world, you know, but not so much the US. And to be quite frank, there's probably a million other features, a million, offered on the Samsung No device that you just can't get on any iPhone. The ability to tweak and change your device to your liking is refreshing. Samsung is ahead of the game when it comes to packing their devices with cool little features and gimmicks that you just might find as a breath of fresh air. Now before you get all hyped and excited and just get to running to go trade in your iPhone for a Samsung, I must speak truth and shed light upon the reality. It's not an easy switch from Apple to Samsung for everyone. Some it may take longer than others to adjust. You will instantly lose some of the benefits covered on iOS like iMessage, AirDrop, FaceTime, and so on. Also, the way iOS is set up, a lot is already done for you. And that's not the case on Android usually, but Samsung makes it easier than most. There are also many alternatives to those key features that I mentioned above, but it's not baked into the OS. <laughs> and you have to do some research. If you want a video about the best iOS-like apps and alternatives for Android and Samsung, hit that like button right now <laughs> and comment down below. Also, smash that sub. My name is CJ. This is CJ Knows Tech, where I know tech so you don't have to, baby. And this is the journey of an Apple user into the Samsung ecosystem. Let's go, baby. Oh, what's coming? That Samsung S20 and uh, that Samsung Z Flip. <laughs> which one should I get? <laughs> Leave a comment down below telling me which Samsung phone y'all want to see me review here on the channel. Y'all already know, baby. <laughs> the Apple user Samsung Kig is in the building, baby. <laughs> ha! About to go play with this beautiful thing. Ooh, look at that. Look how mesmerizing that is. Oh, my God. Gotta get the thumbnail, y'all.